There's a lot of people who have an opinion about Bitcoin. Some people like it and some people don't. But just recently, we saw a bunch of human right advocates come together and say, well, there might be another aspect of Bitcoin that you're not considering. As we saw in this CNBC article, they went ahead and they laid out these human right advocates telling Congress Bitcoin is essential in countries with collapsing currencies. Mackenzie Sigalos went ahead and covered it and said 21 human rights supporters from 20 different countries sent the letter and they said that they rely on Bitcoin and stable coins that allow the trading in and out of crypto without going through a bank as having tens of millions of others living under authoritarian regimes or unstable economies. McKenzie went on to state that beyond their use in trading and speculative investing, Bitcoin has seen increased utility in recent months as people from numerous different countries sent tens of millions of dollars to Ukraine via crypto payment rails to support the war effort and the defense against Russia. And then lastly, Ukrainians were fleeing the country. They were able to take their money with them in the form of cryptocurrency stored on a USB drive. A similar narrative played out in Afghanistan in August when the Taliban took over the country and the banks were closed down there. Now, of course, not everyone actually believes this narrative. Not everyone is a proponent of Bitcoin. We've got an engineer over from Amazon who's a critic. He says that the technology isn't very good and there's a culture of sleaze and rug pulls and NFTs and Ponzi's. Now, Tim Bray, he actually might be onto something, but that stuff's different than Bitcoin. Nobody's rug pulling Bitcoin. Now, of course, there's plenty of critics, but Bitcoin's been adopted by 150 million people around the world. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency. It's providing real utility, and it can be seen as why in these countries where there's collapsing currencies or there's geopolitical uncertainty, why Bitcoin is so valuable. Alex Gladstein from the Human Rights Foundation, he followed it up and he said, if the Congress intends to restrict the ability of Americans to use Bitcoin, it needs to know that this is going to have significant negative effects for the millions of people who rely on it worldwide. Ultimately, Bitcoin is a piece of software. It's literally words written in a database. But that software is providing incredible value to tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of people around the world. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that is not controlled by anyone. No one can confiscate it from you and no one can prevent you from sending it to anyone else. That may sound like a small little idea, but when you put it on the backdrop of macro issues, collapsing currencies and geopolitical conflict, Bitcoin becomes an imperative part of the everyday life of humans around the world. And naturally we need to have human rights advocates talking about this, educating people and making sure that Congress and other organizations realize exactly how important Bitcoin is to the global world. Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, like the video and see you next time.